Imagine how cool it would be if you could use the state-of-the-art open source search engine to sift through your OT asset inventory. Guess what? Now you can, and it's even much easier than you might think. I'm Ralph Langner, and I'll show you in this video how you can combine OT base and Elasticsearch to analyze and visualize your OT inventory and configuration. Your OT network topology, hardware configuration and software configuration is nothing but a complex data structure. Once that you represent this data in a portable document format such as JSON, you can pass it to the Elastic Stack for search, visualization and analytics. There are three scenarios in which this integration is absolutely compelling. First, you are an asset owner already using Elasticsearch. So why not use the platform and your capability to fully integrate your OT asset inventory? Second, you are a consultant using OT Base Cloud. You want to reuse the OT inventory after your subscription has expired in order to further help your client. How about using the open source Elastic Stack to do the job? Third, you want to spice up OT Base with cool dashboards or threat hunting functionality. OT Base gives you a solid baseline capability for OT asset management, but if you want all the bells and whistles, you integrate with the best of breed. So, let's see how it's done, assuming that you already have your Elastic Stack up and running. The first step is to export your asset inventory in OT Base as a JSON file. This only requires one mouse click. If you want to, you can inspect the result file in an editor, ideally one that understands the JSON format. Unfortunately, we cannot load this file directly into Elasticsearch. We need to convert the output file generated by OTBase to the format that Elasticsearch understands. Here is a small Python program that does the job. You can download this program from the OTBase online help center. After the conversion, your result file looks like this. And this is something that we can import into Elasticsearch with one command. Now we can write our result file to the Elasticsearch bulk endpoint by using curl. Just make sure that you use the content type x ndjson and you also use the data binary flag. Well, and that was easy enough. After we have imported our data into Elasticsearch, we can now use Kibana, the visualization front end, to access it. But first we have to create an index pattern for our new OT devices index so that Kibana can use it. We have done this very simple step already, so now we are good to inspect our data in the Kibana visualization. Here we see all our OT devices nicely indexed by Elasticsearch without any effort. Hence, we can go right ahead with some queries. For example, if we want to see which of our devices is still running Windows XP, we just enter Windows XP in the search field and hit enter. As another example, we are interested in a Siemens IM151RTU RTU in the desalination process. Let's check this out by using IM151 and desalination as a search term. And there is our device along with its full configuration data. Certainly you can also do dashboards in Kibana that display the asset information you are most interested in at a glance. All these examples have given you an idea how much more powerful OT Base becomes integrated with Elastic or similar enterprise software. And we've just even scratched the surface. Check it out on your own using OT Base Cloud, the software as a service version of OT Base.